Oftentimes in higher mathematics it's very common to deal with expressions that have exponents that we may not be familiar with and uh, so it's good to have a good background in that. I have a few examples here I want to walk through just to show how to do this. So it says here evaluate each expression without using a calculator. Now the first three a, b, and c are very similar to each other just a four, a three, and a negative symbol but they all mean drastically different things. So um, first of all, let's think about for a second, 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, so that's useful. This first expression means, there's no parentheses, what this means is negative 4 cubed. So you cube it first and then take on the negative, so that's going to be a negative 64. And you can remember that using the order of operations, PEMDAS, and remember, the exponent here supersedes the multiplication of the negative. Okay, so you evaluate that first. All right, the second one, though, we have parentheses. So this means negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. So because of that, it's going to be negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. And since I multiply these two, I get positive 16 times a negative 4. I end up with negative 64 again. Okay. Now, just because we got the same answer here does not mean that that these two expressions mean the same thing. Um, we just kind of got lucky unilaterally. That won't be the case. All right. This third one has a negative exponent. So what the negative exponent means? Anytime you have a negative exponent, that means you take the reciprocal raised to the positive exponent. Or another way of saying that is 1 over x to the n. Okay, so these are equivalent statements. So in this case I have 1 over 4 cubed. 4 cubed we know is 64, so 1 over 4 cubed is, or 4 to the negative third power is 1 64th. Alright, now moving on to the second row. Here I have um, 6 to the 32nd power, which is an extremely large number, divided by 6 to the 30th power, which is another extremely large number. Here's where you just don't want to get it caught in the habit of just typing things in your calculator. This could very well make your calculator very unhappy. Instead, what we need to do is consider, uh, remember, the having the 6th to the 30th power in the denominator is the same thing as saying 6 to the 32nd power times 6 to the negative 30 power. All right, so another rule we have is anytime you have x to the m times x to the n, you can add their exponents. All right, so that's the second rule here. So here, when I add the exponents here, I get 6 to the second power. Oh, so that's just 36. Okay, now a more direct way of saying this is that uh, originally, 6 to the 30th power canceled out here, and when I did that, I was left with 6 to the second power in the numerator. Because you can picture this as being 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, 32 times, divided by 6 times 6 times 6, 30 times. 30 of them cancel out in the top and the bottom, and you're left with 6 squared. All right, now moving on to E. I have a negative exponent. So why don't we go ahead and take the reciprocal of this. This means 13 over 11 squared. And any time you have a fraction squared, that simply means the numerator squared over the denominator squared. Uh, you may have to refresh yourself on 13 squared, but that's 169. And 11 squared is 121. So 169 over 121 is your solution here. Okay, lastly, we have, uh, we have a negative, but it's also a fraction exponent. So it's worth mentioning here, if you have x to the n over m power, the m is the degree of your root. So x to the n over m is the nth root of x to the n. Another way of saying that is it's the nth root of x to the n power. So you can, not the squared power, sorry, the n power. So you can choose the order you do this. Now, here I happen to know the fifth root of two, of 32, sorry. So one way you could do this is this the fifth root of 32 cubed, but wait a minute, it's negative, so that's one over 
all of that, because remember the negatives are the reciprocals. Uh, that's kind of hard because I'm not sure what 32 cubed is, so I don't recommend going that route. What I would recommend then is saying 1 over um, the fifth root of 32 quantity cubed. The reason I say that is because I happen to know the fifth root of 32. There are not many that we know, but that one, or know off the top of our heads, but that one we do, it's uh, 2. So I have 1 over 2 cubed, which is just 1 eighth. So this is just a rough exercise in um, playing around with exponents. It's very, very important that you get very familiar with these. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.